Mummy Cat. Written by Marcus Gewert and illustrated by Lisa Brown. The winds hiss over desert sand. The moon shines down on empty land. And long ago, the pharaohs hid their treasures in this pyramid. Deep within this maze of stone, a creature wakes up, all alone. For the first time in a hundred years, he shakes off dust, he flicks his ears. From head to tail, dry strips of cloth softly rustle like a moth. A cat who moves without a breath. A mummy cat who's passed through death. And one cold night each century, he gets up and he checks to see if she's come back, his loving friend, so that this lonely time can end. For she was the girl queen, hatch upset, and he'd been her hero, not just her pet. The boldest cat ancient Egypt had seen, the number one cat, the cat of the queen. But now, he just feels old and small. He shuffles slowly down the hall. And all around are painted scenes of his past life with Egypt's queen. Mummy Cat purrs to see the smile of the young girl playing by the Nile. Two boats floated, but one ship sank, clawed by the cat on the river bank. Or this mural of a noontime nap, dreams of mice on the queen's own lap. Their couch was set beside the pool. The shade from date trees kept them cool. Here's Hatshepsut drawing with her palette of inks. And here he is posing a miniature sphinx. Marvelous scenes of the way things were when mummy cat was alive with her. But the very next picture makes Mummy Cat wail. The queen struck down by a scorpion's tail. Mummy Cat knows he's not to blame, but he couldn't save her all the same. The scorpion struck both her and him. The poison spread from limb to limb. An end to dances, games and feasts. Two small bodies wrapped by priests. The painting stopped, the cat's alone, with silence, dust, and dull gray stone. Mummy cat slumps a little more, but up ahead, there is a door. And through that door, there is a room, the very center of the tomb, a chamber stuffed with lovely things, a crown, a throne for golden rings, Mirrors, dolls, and makeup kits. Nothing that matters the slightest bit. Nothing that matters, except for the queen, her face on the coffin, smiling, serene. This cold, golden coffin, is this all he gets? Where is the girl he can never forget? Will tonight be the night that she comes back? Will the coffin open? Even a crack? He'll wait, he'll wait, till his friend reappears, the queen of his heart, for 3,000 years. Purr.